Yo, what's going on, guys? Today, we're gonna be pushing hopefully to top 1 in the world with my main deck. We're up against a uh, rod. I normally use this rod to play pool with. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's a Lava Hound player. I don't want a Hog Rider because we have no Firecracker. Well, now we do, so... We can go in. Gonna pre-Firecracker for barbs. Perfect. Should also kill the Inferno Dragon, hopefully. Oh no, it's gonna die. It's fine. I think this guy might not have Balloon in his deck. I'm not 100% sure, though. I knew it. They always go for that sneaky zap. Oh, that's on our tower. Oh no. Man, that's a lot of damage. We're, we're still up a bit, though, so we're fine. Guys, one thing I do want to shout out is my second channel, Extra EN77. I have started streaming there again, so if you guys are into streams, make sure to subscribe there and check it out. I'll have it linked at the top of the description. Okay, we just have to defend here. We can't really pressure at all. I feel like it's going to be kind of hard to break through here, but we should be able to defend pretty well. Not even sure how he's going to kill this firecracker. We do have Tesla too if we need it. I'm pretty sure he has no balloons, so we don't really need to save it. Gonna knight here. Perfect catch. You can pretty consistently catch your opponent's miners on your firecrackers if you're good with your knights. Just takes a bit of getting used to. Should be a couple hog hits here. Super nice. The only problem is that he does have Evo Barbs in hand right now. So for our next Hog Rider, we might just have to make a pretty bad trade. We do have Evo Cracker though, so... Okay, I think we're going to be fine. We can cycle the Evo Cracker then Hog Rider. If he Evo Barbs, they should kind of die here to our Firecracker. Could a Knight? <laughs> we're catching the Miners every time. Easy. Could a Tesla? Normally I play my Tesla one more tile to the left if I'm facing balloons so the Lava Hound doesn't chip it down too much, but if you're facing a Lava-only deck with no balloon, it doesn't really matter if your Tesla gets chipped down a tiny bit. Shouldn't be too much damage here. We can Hog Rider. Skellies to distract. Oh, a little bit late on the Skellies. Ooh, pretty good damage. Ah. Uh... Oh, he missed! He missed! He missed! <laughs> this volcanic player really just did that. Well, hey, I'll take it. We only need log. Level 15 spells do so much damage. Pretty easy win. We're up against a fresh tangerine. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever seen a fresh fruit playing Clash Royale. This is a breakthrough, man. <laughs> I know quite a few of you don't have many tangerines in your home countries, but in the USA where I'm from, we have so many. They're pretty good, too. I think we should be fine. Perfect, we can Hog Rider. I know this guy is running Mega Knight. Should be quite a few hits. Two, at least. <laughs> nice Hog Rider. That's why I still main Hog Rider to this day. Because it always gets the extra hit. We do have to Ice Tiny here too. I heard someone saying yesterday that Riley officially called Ice Spirit and Ice Tiny for the first time in his last video. I'm very proud of him. He's like a younger goblin to me. <laughs> Not a bad miner, but we can just Hog Rider and he's going to have to still spend something. Okay. I don't want to even try to activate our King Tower because this guy always goes for prediction zaps and stuff like that. I'll just go for the Knight. I knew it. <laughs> you always want to go with your knight in this position because if the Mega Knight jumps on it, then your left side and your right side tower can help out against it. Perfect defense. We don't have to play too aggressively at this point. Just need to get a few more hog hits and defend well. I know he will try to be really aggressive with his Evo bats. He normally does that against me. I'll go in for the hog. What will he do here? He might take some pretty heavy damage. <laughs> Two more hog hits. I feel kind of bad for him. He just can't stop our hog riders. At least not efficiently. 
Okay, he's trying to tower trade, I think. Gonna knight early. Or maybe he will still try to defend. Not the best ability. Kind of just feeding our Evo Cracker. Evo Cracker is so good, man. I missed Evo Cracker so much when I switched to Evo Knight for a few seasons. Uh, I think we're fine. Evo Cracker is running all the way back across the arena. <laughs> if any football team needs a new player, take the Firecracker. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next match. We're up against Diego of the B variety. He is a Clash Royale World Champion, so this should be a pretty intense match. He won World Finals with Team Liquid in 2019. This could be a Hog versus Hog matchup, or he might have Minor Cycle or something. Okay, probably Minor Wall Breakers, yeah. Very peculiar Minor, don't know what that was for. Gonna Hog Rider, we definitely outcycled him. Even if he tries to ability, I think this will still be one hit. Perfect. I'll cycle the Firecracker just to try to get to our Evo a bit quicker. Gonna log as well. Hopefully Firecracker dies here. Okay, perfect. You do always want your Firecracker to just barely die after it finishes defending. Not always, but a lot of the time so they can't get the King Tower activation after. Do have to Tesla. Hopefully it helps a bit against the Little Prince too, maybe? Guess not. I think we should be fine here. Not the best miner. Oh no, that was a good log. He made Goblin, so I'll go for the log as well. <laughs> <laughs> Riley didn't even have the chance to spawn in. I feel like he might wall breakers. Gonna skellies for the miner. I do want our Tesla to stay alive in case he tries to go in. Yeah, I knew it. Should counter the wall breakers. Yeah, perfect. We're not up too much anymore, though. Gonna Hog Rider. Free Earthquake. Interesting Bomb Tower. He could have countered it without playing it up high. But I guess it's fine. Do have to Evo Cracker. I know he will probably poison. You don't always have much of a choice, though. Okay. He's not back to Bomb Tower yet, so this might be pretty good. Oh, now he is. I feel like we could still outcycle him. We do have a quicker cycle, it's only that... Oh no, a little bit late of a firecracker. We do have a quicker cycle, but the thing is they can always block up the lane, so it's kind of hard to actually outcycle. Okay, log. Earthquake. Should be a lot of damage, at least one hit. Pretty good defense and earthquake cycle, I think we should have it. Maybe a bit of firecracker damage too, if we're lucky. Okay, pretty late bomb tower. Firecracker may still do something. Guess not. Wait, we do have one issue here. The little prince is at 1 HP. He's gonna try to ability if it gets too close. Come on, Evo Cracker. Uh, gonna log. Hopefully wall breakers die. Okay. I'll go in for the hog rider. Maybe Evo Cracker can do something. He is still gonna have to play something for this. I'll firecracker. Man, my firecrackers are sometimes not very good. They just don't hit the right stuff. <laughs> Gonna knight. Beautiful catch. I think we should be okay. Oh no, we have to firecracker. <laughs> okay, we're not out of the clear yet, but we're looking pretty good of course. Gonna knight to block Tesla. Log this away. <laughs> We're just knighting the heck out of this guy. Gonna Evo Cracker. I know he will cycle back to his poison pretty quickly and poison it, but it's okay. Kind of a miss. Okay. This is getting a bit close though. Gonna Hog Rider. Hopefully he goes for a bomb tower, then Firecracker can splash the opposite lane. Earthquake. Another Hog Rider. We're cycling so quickly now. I think he has no way to stop this, right? Yeah, good game. We got a match. Guys, one thing I do want to mention is that in the last couple of videos, my editor has been trying out a bit of a new style, adding some speed ups during certain stale moments. 
And I saw quite a few people liked it, pretty much everyone liked it, but there were a few people who weren't the biggest fan of it. They kind of just preferred being more immersed in the videos, I guess. Something like that. So, I think in today's video, my editor will have made it a little bit more subtle. That's what we're aiming for, so let me know if it's a bit better today for the few of you who said you preferred just not having them. I kind of want to make a style that's good for everyone. We're going to keep on testing a bit. I know a lot of YouTubers just get to a point and then they just start not really improving their content or anything. They kind of just get lazy with it. So I'm trying to be the opposite of that and continue to make better and better content. Pretty sure this guy here runs Expo. I remember I used to face him quite a bit. This actually won't be very good. I know everyone thinks that Hoggy Q counters Expo, but now with the Evo Archers, I think it's actually pretty fine for Expo. I think either player can win. Might be like a 50-50, I have no idea though. Haven't played it too much. Just gonna... Okay, Earthquake this. See, the Evo Archers just destroy any tank. <laughs> pretty nice defense though. It's good to go same lane to get Earthquake value on the Expos, but it's also better to sometimes go opposite lanes so they don't always get the Fireball value on your Tower and Firecracker. Yeah, that's a free Fireball for him, but it's okay. We're still pretty much even. Gonna Hog again. You can sometimes outcycle them. Very interesting Expo. Not sure if that's too good for him. I think it should die. Yeah, we're all good. The thing is, we don't have Evo Knight. I feel like if we had Evo Knight over Evo Firecracker, this would be a pretty easy matchup, but with Normal Knight, it is a little bit more tricky. Gonna Firecracker. He has to Tesla low, I think, so I'll Earthquake. Yeah, perfect. This could be something, I don't know. Or I guess not. <laughs> Gonna just Knight here. Nice Firecracker shot. We do have to get to our Earthquake. Gonna be a tiny bit of damage for him. We are up about 300 still. Gonna Hog Rider. You just want to keep on cycling your Hog Riders, mainly to try to outcycle them, but also just to buy yourself time and stuff like that. Get your cycle moving as well. Okay, we can go in for another Hog Rider. We outcycle them a bit. I don't think it matters though. Or wait, does it? Come on, Tesla, please get on Expo. Okay, perfect. Yeah, the Evo Archers are so good, man. We can't kill them. Dude, the Evo Archers are carrying so hard right now for him. We just need some Earthquake damage, because I know he's going to start Fireballing. Yeah. We might have actually lost already, because Fireball does more damage than an Earthquake, and our cycle is exactly the same. I don't know, unless something can happen here. going to log these Archers away. Man, the Evo Cracker pushes itself so far back, so it's kind of easy for him to Fireball it. No, I don't know what to do at this point. I don't think there's anything we really can do. I'm gonna try to Earthquake Cycle, but he's gonna get way more damage with Fireballs. We need a lucky Evo Cracker, maybe, or something. I'm gonna Earthquake? Wait a minute. We can Hog Rider, and he's four cards away from a Tesla. So this might be good. Wait, we have a chance. Oh, that was a lot of damage with the Firecracker. Okay, we have a good chance now. I don't know if it's enough, though. Ooh, this will be so close. Ooh, I don't know, man. I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay. I if we can get a hog hit. <laughs> okay. Hey, we take those. Thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye.